Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, I got the John Deere 318. This is the mower deck out from under it. It's in pretty rough shape. I mowed with it the other day. I, I used used bearings to see if it mowed and it, it, it mowed. The blades are terrible. But I'm cheap, so we're gonna continue to use them. But this one ain't too bad, but that and rubbing the tire, but when you start off, we're gonna get these blades off and go from there. Of course, it's a 5 8 grab now 6 tenths. I've already had all this apart, so it should go pretty good. It's pretty rough mower, but... Okay. Let me see here. We're gonna grab a ratchet. See what we can do with this. Goodness. I'm grabbing this dead blood. I'm gonna go see if I got a two by four or something we can stick under there. I think I do. Here. I know you're not supposed to hit your ratchet with a dead blood hammer. Oh my goodness, we're well, this might not be as easy as I thought. Let's see if we can go back to this. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Light off. Run this back up in here. And you're also not supposed to start anything with an impact. But I'm doing it because I don't really bother me. I got more than hubs. Really need to replace these bolts, probably. We are the original. One of these spindles had a broken bolt. We broke it off in there. We got it out, but just one of the things, you know. While I'm at it, I might as well do it, but probably won't. Probably forget about it. Okay. One more down. Got one more to go after this. I put an edge on it just enough so I can see if it mowing me. I'll probably mow with them. If I get the same rebuild through, I'll probably put blades on next year. After I go through it and make sure everything's gonna work as good as I need it to. Had some holes in the deck so I had to weld up there. I probably welded it with the MIG. <laughs> This is a jack and bolt I had on there. I put that under there so because the um, idler, the tensioner arm for the, the deck belt, which would be the secondary belt on the mower, 
sits there and it goes like this cause the bushings wore out in it. So I'm gonna probably make a brass one or steel one. I'm not sure yet, we'll have to take the bolts off right there. Oh, there's the tensioner bolt right there. Right there. Great, try to get that out. Probably cut that and grind the head of it off and go from there. I think the next thing we ought to do is we're gonna knock spindles out because I got the tool sitting right here. I just got the thing leaned up against the mower. Should be half an inch. Yeah. These are shoulder bolts. Got in here. Just because I had them hanging around, they, they fit. Well, maybe if the deck can fall over. little shoulder bolts. We had a bunch of them laying around, so thought might as well use them. Find them. So on these hubs, it comes out the top of the deck. So you hammer it through there, out the top. Persuade. And down. Couple more to get. I'll pick up all the hardware in a little bit. I mowed a little bit of the front yard with it, and my own self didn't sand the rust out of the pulley or the wire well on the grinder. So dead gone. Belt just chewed itself to pieces. This is the big one. The hub on it's actually wider. Well, taller for some reason, I don't know why, but I guess it six sticks out through the top more. To, um, I guess for the taller pulleys. Well, the, yeah. Pulleys are out. Well, the hubs. Taking so finagle this back onto the side of 
the mower. This is a, this deck is the 50 inch. So it's the bigger one. I think you could have got a 54 inch as well. But it is the bigger one. One of the bigger ones I have. Take all the hubs over here. Blades. Alright. So I guess now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and lower it back down. I'm gonna grind ahead of them bolts off. It's got a newer spring on it. You can kind of see where the tag once was on it. But not too bad. So this is that tension rod I was talking about. It goes like this and a little bit of wear going on. So I'm gonna find my angle grinder. I'm gonna take the hot top of it off. Maybe. Chain locks. I like these old John Deere's. They, they're pretty cut and dry on how to work on them. I mean, there ain't too much to them. Oh, there's my set point. My little adapter thing for the disc for the grinder on. Using these grinding rocks for grinding the head of bolts off and stuff. I like flap discs, they're so expensive. Five dollars a piece, unless you go to tractor supply. And a lot of times they have that Porta Cable brand on sale. It's like five of them for, I can't remember how much. Now I gotta find my glasses because I. Uh, I'm not doing anything else to grind unless I got these on. So I got something in my other than that. No, it wasn't fun. No, no. So we're just going to take the head of that bolt off. And then there's two carriage bolts. See, on this mower deck, there's the bracket. I took one of my little air, 90 degree air grinders with a little three inch disc on them, flat disc on it. This would go right here on the carrot bolts and slot it so you can slide it back and forth. This don't allow your bracket to go so far so we don't bind up with the pulley right here on the deck. That's all that's for. And they didn't have a 90 inch belt at O'Reilly's. They had a 97 inch, which is why I grind it because the they're bent on the bottom. I couldn't get them undone. All right, let's see here. Why don't I just cut that? I can just cut it off. Save me a lot of time. The only reason I grinded the other ones off is because couldn't get to them with a the cutoff one.
grab my big screwdriver. here. Go find something I need for a punch. Um, really just need a bolt. There we go. Damage the thread. So this here. Well, I guess let's grind the top of it off. to be stubborn. See, all John Deere done was is a piece of flat stock that they bent up, drilled a hole in it for the spring. And that's a piece of pipe that they welded into it. And it slides. Uh, try not to burn myself. So it slides over that bush and go in there. And the bushings more slap out, see? I'm not saying the pipe ain't wore out, but they're both pretty um well I think it's the bushing. Cause I can see the bushings wore out. I don't know, we'll just have to the the lathe is bad, so I might take a piece of brown stock 
I got a little piece of one inch. I got some, I'm just gonna hang on. I got some old pins and stuff. Like this. I take and drill into it with the drill press, put a vise on it, drill it, then take and sand it smooth, chuck it up in the um, drill press. I'll get it close to the angle grinder, I can smooth it out. Chuck this up in the angle grinder and smooth it out. But, I don't know. That sounded like a lot of work for, for that. So. I don't know, might make a new one, might not, don't know yet. So we got that done. I'm not gonna take this linkage off, there ain't no point in it. I'm debating whether we're gonna paint this or not. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna take the wheels off of the four ones. These roller ones ain't bad, it's the outer ones but well I guess it's gonna be another video um the wheels they're shot all it is the bolt that literally all the wheels are is a bolt that might have yeah. all that wheel over there has is a bolt that runs through it and a nut well that's got a ton of washers and Calls the guy who owned it previously. The owner that had it before us was a, uh, well, he, he, he rigged some stuff, so. Well, that's gonna be all for this video. This is part one. I'm gonna do another video. I'm gonna show you all the way to get all the bearings out of the hubs and the pulleys apart and everything. I gotta replace one of the pulleys. I don't know why I didn't when I started, but we're the, Holy is actually broke. Well, one of them. Oh, there's grease everywhere. Oh, yeah, right here. Fall. I don't know if y'all can see up in there, but right there on that hub, there's a crack. Well, it's actually a chunk broke out of it, right there where the keyway is. The keyway's on up in the pulley, so it's got some meat on it. But I got some pulleys off another old John Deere. There's a John Deere something 38, I think. I think it's in a scrap pile anyways, but we'll swap the pulley out and sand everything. I'll probably sand everything off camera. I'll just show y'all to disassemble it, but well, I guess I'll see y'all next time. It's part one of many parts on the John Deere. And like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.